Hi everyone, Julia here, recording this, November 8th, 2022, and this is a brief summary of the Archaic Live broadcast on November 2nd, 2022, entitled The Seven Seals to Seven Kings, Archaic Breakdown, 1893 Bible. Jason again points out that pre-World War II books are the best. He then says that censorship has taken away our history and that during soft Phoenix events, people suspected something transpired, but that we have to find out truths in retrospect. Just like all the calendars, including the Anno Domini calendar, were designed in retrospect. He points out that over 520 years after the birth of Christ, the AD calendar was first being implemented in 526 AD and how the A.D. calendar took 400 years to catch on, making it almost a thousand years after Christ before it took off, and that even in Newton's time, they were using an older dating system. He mentions that many books were removed from the canon, then he il illustrates how 2nd Ezra 1619 predicts the same as he does with cheap provisions and peace. He says that it will be so good before the apocalypse erupts, that there will be peace and no one will suspect it. Jason says that a false apocalypse has to unfold first, which will be the Phoenix event, and that we're in the last days and that it will get really good before getting really bad. He says that the template of the future is fixed, that the past is a predicate of the future. Jason teaches that what occurred in the past will occur in the future and that it is now as it was in the days of Noah. He says that it's all scripted and to be decoded with scriptures. He says it will be partying and peace, giving a false sense of security, and then turmoil. He reads 1 Thessalonians 5.3, a letter of Paul, to reinforce his predictions. Jason says that the meaning of the seals of the apocalypse is the unveiling and that the breaking of the seals is not a bad thing like Hollywood makes it out to be. He says that errants have a different perspective and, to, and that the seals must be broken in order. He points out that seals are only used for documents of vast importance, making them confidential and tamper-proof. He says that the seven seals are of epic importance and a message to the elect, us, so that we will know where we are in the unveiling. After reading in Revelations chapter 6, Jason points out how the first seal refers to a white horse, implying a pretense to be righteous, and a bow and arrow implying cowardice, because you can kill at a distance, eliminating threat. He says it's a false savior. Jason claims that the Bible is a supernatural book, but that it contains both good and evil. He talks about how the Bible can turn good people into demon, demons, stating that divinity is in the individual, not in the text. Jason thinks that the false savior was born in the year 1996 and says that he explains why he thinks this in his Chronicon, but that he doesn't know who it is yet. Jason discusses how the second seal has a red horse and a crown that was given, not earned. The red horse who is given power is opposition to the white horseman. He talks about how the third seal features a black horseman, indicating war and food shortage, but that, it, that is not what's happening now. He again points out that the conservatives will take over before the sixth seal and that there will be that will be years from now but it will be before the year 2040 he goes on to the fourth seal with a pale horseman representing death followed closely by a fifth rider hell jason says that there will be a 75 percent survival rate and to make sure you're vibrating at the proper frequency and you'll be fine jason says that the fifth seal is all about the great pyramid which is the altar of God. He says that names used for the wor world in the book at the end times are Sodom and Egypt. He relays that prophecies state that God will kill his people to keep them from evil. He talks about 
how he thinks that the white robe represents our eternal avatar and that it's mentioned in many ancient texts. He says that Revelation is not a novel text, which is revealed in the words of Jesus in Matthew 24, 4, where the four horsemen are discussed just with different terminology. Jason says the same information is found in 2 Ezra, which is a much older writing. He says that the Jews admitted that there was no Old Testament, and they also admitted that they had to write it. Jason says that the story of Moses is fictional, and that a serpent idol was worshipped for 700 years in the temple in Jerusalem. Jason reiterates that 2 Ezra and the book of Matthew and the book of Revelation all say the same thing. He mentions that the fifth seal is about being patient. Jason says that God will put the hammer down well after the seven seals are broken and that the apocalypse is hidden inside the scroll and that we need all seven seals broken before someone reads to know what exactly will happen. He says that we are in the end times, that we are in Egypt. Jason emphasizes that the sixth seal is the phoenix event. And reminds that it acts with intelligence and is destructive, yet it is a product of the benefactor. And that it is not intended to take out the elite, but to keep the archons in check. He says that the apocalypse is designed to take out the elite and, the, and their masters. Jason reviews the Great Flood of 2239 BC caused by the collapse of the vapor canopy, which was caused by the phoenix. He points out that the Genesis story is a reset story. Jason says that Mother Shipton and Nostradamus have the same predictions about 2040. He states that the sixth seal is an important chrono marker because the fifth and seventh seals are not on earth. He says that the writer of the apocalypse narrative is from Egypt, the real Egypt of the ancient world. Jason illustrates how Joel 2.30 also refers to the sixth seal, also known as the Phoenix event. He reads several Bible passages to outline the difference between the day of the Lord and the Phoenix event and, say that there is, and says that there is a 60-year difference between the two events. He says that they'll make it seem like the Phoenix event is the apocalypse, but that after the sixth seal, it's quiet in heaven. He points out, that all biblical sun darkening events are not due to the phoenix. Some are actually describing the day of the Lord. Jason says that although we cannot know the day and hour, we can know the year. He says that the elect will be saved, that's us, and that Anunnaki history equates to the seven trumpets. He mentions that knowledge is said to increase in the last days, and that the book of Enoch's rediscovery was predicted in the book of Enoch. He says a Masonic hero will be introduced that no one will be allowed to say anything bad about, and the elite will allow house cleaning. And again, he says that it's all by design, and it'll look like good is prevailing over evil, but that it's all just a stage play, and that we're just sojourners here. So thank you all for listening, and... I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Remember to stay focused on what you want, and help others if you can. Ciao, ciao.